royal baby news, is this why Meghan Markle and Harry delayed showing Archie to world? Buckingham Palace has denied claims that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex delayed the first photo call with Archie to benefit American TV networks. Meanwhile Meghan Markle's former stepmom has warned the Duchess she must not let her awful father see his new grandchild and said she would be a fool to have him in her life. After enjoying two days of privacy at Frogmore Cottage following the birth of Archie on Monday morning, Meghan and Prince Harry revealed him to the media on Wednesday afternoon. The new parents decided for a limited number of press to be in Windsor Castle for the photo call and video, with an interview performed by the Press Association. But one of the broadcasters was CBS which is said to have made parts of the British press furious. CBS's flagship morning show This Morning is hosted by Gail King who is a best friend of Meghan and even attended her baby shower in New York. But the idea the photo call was timed for US TV has been denied. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson said, the birth of the Duke and Duchess' son was publicly announced on Monday, and the Duke was pleased to speak to the media on the same day. Their royal highnesses were delighted to introduce their new son to the world on Wednesday, scheduled around introducing him to his great-grandparents for the first time. After three years of silence Rosalind Markle, Thomas Markle's ex-wife, has condemned Meghan's estranged father saying her new son Archie Harrison deserves to be bought up in a happy home. Meghan and Mr. Markle have had a bitter falling out since it was announced she would be marrying Prince Harry. After he wasn't invited to last year's ceremony, he launched a number of stinging, public attacks on the royal family, worsening relations between the pair. Ms. Markle, who was married to Meghan's father between 1964 and 1975, claims Mr. Markle cheated on her, hurled abusive outbursts at her and starved her of cash. He denies the allegations. Ms. Markle told the Daily Mirror, knowing Tom as I do, Meghan would be a fool to have him in her life. While he portrays himself as a loving father, he was anything but to our two children during our marriage. It may sound cliched but a leopard does not change its spots. She added, repeatedly he has shown to Meghan he cannot be trusted. She must know that now. I speak not out of bitterness, my life moved on many years ago, but out of concern. Archie deserves to be brought up in a happy home, not in this vengeful situation that has been created. Tom was an awful father. What makes him think he'd be a great grandfather to Archie? 6.34 p.m. Update, Jenny did guess Archie's name, insists Gogglebox creator. Gogglebox creator Tanyan Alexander has denied claims of a fix after claim star Jenny's prediction about the name of Baby Sussex had been recorded after it was revealed. During last night's show, Jenny stunned viewers after correctly guessing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would call their baby Archie. One commented, that clip of Jenny guessing the name was clearly recorded after the name was made public. However, Ms. Alexander tweeted, I would just like to confirm that our Jenny did genuinely guess the name Archie before it was announced. 5.52 p.m. Update, Meghan's pal tipped to be Archie's godparent. Meghan Markle's close pal Jessica Moroni is odds-on at 1-2 with bookmaker Coral to be a godparent to Archie and has attracted the most bets since he was born. Benita Litt is 5-4 in the betting for the role, Prince William is 2-1 while Amal Clooney can be backed at 7-1. Given how close she is to Meghan, Jessica Moroni seems an obvious choice to be a godparent to young Archie, said Coral's John Hill. Benita Litt and Prince William are both at the top end of the betting, while we have seen strong money for Amal Clooney, added Hill. Harry's friend Nicholas Van Cutsum is 2-1, 3-1 Abigail Spencer is 3-1, Tom Inskip is 4-1, Princess Eugenie is 5 to 1, Mark Dyer is 6 to 1, Serena Williams is 8 to 1, Misha Nanu is 10 to 1, Oprah Winfrey is 12 to 1, Tiggy Pettifer is 14 to 1, Marcus Anderson is 16 to 1, and Barack Obama is 33 to 1. 5.19 p.m. Update, Meghan and Harry give blessing for Archie to get a title, says expert. The royal baby will have to wait to become Prince Archie but Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have already given their blessing for their son to be given a title, a royal expert has claimed.
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry introduced royal baby Archie to the world this week after the Duchess of Sussex gave birth on Monday. But the Duke and Duchess baby was not given an official title, despite suggestions he might have become the Earl of Dumbarton, as a nod to one of Prince Harry's subsidiary titles. Equally the baby boy could have been Lord Archie Mountbatten Windsor, instead, he will be known as Master Archie Harris in Mountbatten Windsor. 2.30 p.m. Update, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made a touching tribute to Princess Diana by calling son Archie. Some royal fans have suggested that Meghan and Harry called their first child Archie in a tribute to Harry's mother Princess Diana. One of the late prince's ancestors was Archibald Campbell, the ninth Earl of Argyll. He was a Scottish Protestant leader who lived from 1629 to 1685 and was killed over his opposition to the Roman Catholic James II. 1.15 p.m. Update, model goes viral after braiding royal baby name basic. Dot. Paris Chardonnay, a model and fitness coach, has gone viral for brandishing the royal baby's name basic during an interview on ITV News on Thursday. In the clip. She offered her honest opinion of the name choice and said, Archie? It's all right. Yeah, it's a bit basic. After noticing the interview clip, M. Chardonnay expressed her shock on Twitter, writing, No so how am I on the news calling the royal baby's name basic? I thought this was for someone's UNI coursework not BBC News FFS. She later clarified that she had incorrectly referenced BBC News in her tweet. The video of the interview has been viewed almost 160,000 times and her tweet received over 20,000 shares. 12.25 p.m. Update, Thrifty Queen wears same outfit again for day 4 of Royal Windsor Horse Show. The Queen showed the young royals she's no clothes horse as she wore the same outfit for the fourth day running at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Her Royal Highness wrapped up warm by donning her favorite headscarf and beige overcoat. Her Majesty was in good spirits as she enjoyed one of her most loves past times by seeing the horses in action in Berkshire. The 93-year-old monarch showed no signs of slowing down during a week where she became a great-grandmother for the eighth time. On Wednesday, the Queen along with Prince Philip, 97, caught their first glimpse of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child Archie at St. George's Hall in Windsor Castle. 11.20am Update Location of the birth will be announced, claims royal historian. The details of where Meghan Markle gave birth to the royal baby has not yet been revealed, but a royal historian has said it will be announced eventually. Royal historian and biographer Hugo Vickers told The Independent, by law we will be told where the child was born. 11.10m update, Prince Harry's exiled best friend tipped as godfather to baby Archie. Prince Harry's lifelong friend Tom Inskip could be chosen as baby Archie's godfather despite once being exiled by the prince for questioning whether he was doing the right thing in marrying Meghan. Mr. Inskip, who is known by his nickname Skippy, is set to visit the royal baby over the coming days. This has fueled speculation he has made up with Prince Harry after being snubbed from the couple's wedding party at Frogmore House last May. Meghan was said to have called him an unsettling influence especially over his doubts about her. But the Duke of Sussex reportedly phoned Mr. Inskip immediately after his son was born and now royal sources are suggesting he could even be chosen as a godparent. 11.00m Update, Royal Baby Name Believed to be a Sweet Nod to Mum Meghan Many royal fans have suggested that the name Archie is a touching gesture to his mum Meghan, as the royal baby's first name is a near anagram of her real name, Rachel. Despite assuming her middle name Meghan, the former Suits actress's birth name is actually Rachel Meghan Markle. Many have taken to social media to point out that Archie contains all the letters present in Rachel, apart from the I, although some even say that when capped the I could almost pass as an L. One Twitter user wrote, Archie is nearly an anagram of Rachel, Meghan's real first name hashtag Roy Albaby hashtag Archie Windsor. Another wrote, I was wondering. May it be that he brings homage to both parents in his name? Harrison sounds like son of Harry, Archie could be an attempted anagram of Meghan's first name which is Rachel, actually, Meghan is her middle name. If so it's a sweet choice, 
don't you think? A third commented, actually, I think Archie might be an anagram based on Megan's first name, Rachel, and, thus, quite feminist. Hashtag Baby Sussex. 10.50m update, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may send Archie to state school. Penny Jr., a royal biographer, has suggested that baby Archie could attend a normal state school, as Zara and Peter Phillips did, which would be a very good thing. Speaking to the Times she said it would be a very good thing if Archie attended state school but she admitted it would be hard for him to live a normal life. She added, in some ways there can be nothing normal about being a royal child. On the other hand, if you look at the way Zara and Peter Phillips were brought up, we really saw nothing of them in their childhood, except when they were with the Queen. They went to normal schools where they were treated like a normal person, and had normal friends. The royal biographer added that if the Sussexes decide to send their firstborn to a normal school, it could greatly benefit the state school system. She said, that would be a very good thing. If everybody used the state system, it would improve and everybody would get a good education. And what could be a better impetus for that to happen than Harry sending his child to a state school?